Hello guys and welcome back to Snowball AI. So a few months ago, I created a Game of Thrones trailer with AI. I used Pika Labs and Gen2. If you're new to this, it's basically two different AI tools you can use to create videos, either by writing a description or uploading an image. Now, I did that video only four months ago, but four months is a lot of time in the AI world and things have developed rapidly since then. Pika Labs 2 has recently been announced and they have a pretty cool video showcasing some of its capabilities. You see that just by typing, we get videos of robots, cartoon characters, dogs, cats, or like this example here, you can upload an image and combine it with a description. This one here is pretty cool. It's a cowboy riding a horse and it changes to different settings and styles depending on your prompt. I did something similar to that before these updates where I wrote a samurai dancing underneath a cherry tree and changed the styles. You can create cool advertisements with this method. Gen 2 has also gotten a lot better since then and they now have something called motion brush which is still in beta but it allows you to control specific areas of your video. Here's an example where an image of a forest is turned into a video with the mist and clouds moving. You can even choose the direction of the movement. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because there has been some crazy improvements in AI video generation and if you know how to use these tools before they are released you could probably make something really good out of it. I stumbled upon this paper here called Video Booth Diffusion Based Video Generation with Image Prompt. This is the most promising results I have seen so far when it comes to maintaining the consistency of a character in videos using only a prompt. Here is a demo from their github page. Let's look at some fascinating examples from their research. One striking case involves a dog by using an image of a dog and combining it with various prompts like dog drinking from a bowl of water or dog swimming in a lake happily, the AI was able to create different video scenarios while keeping the dog's appearance consistent throughout. This consistency is crucial. Before this technology, characters would often slightly alter in appearance from scene to scene in AI generated videos. But with improvements like this, whether it's a cat on a white background, a cat on a vintage chair or a cat in a garden, the character, in this case the cat, remains the same across different different videos. One interesting aspect is the potential application to human models. While the research primarily showcases animals, it opens up the question of whether the same technology can be applied to humans. Imagine uploading your photo and then generating various scenes with a consistent portrayal of yourself. This research represents a significant step forward in overcoming one of the major challenges, maintaining character consistency. It's not just about creating videos, it's about telling coherent stories where characters remain true to their original image no matter the setting. I will probably create a tutorial video on how you can use these tools and go more in depth into every step from creating a script, descriptions of the scene to the final video. Here's a quick summary of my workflow if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. So I start off by telling ChatGPT to write the description of every scene of the video. I take the descriptions and feed them into my journey to generate the images. Now you can also do this step with Dolly 3 which is inside of ChatGPT. Once we have the images all that's left to do is to turn them into video using Pika Labs or Gen2 by simply uploading uploading the images one by one. Now you can put them all together using a video editing program and add some music or sound effects and you're done. Here are the first 20 seconds of the Game of Thrones trailer I created 4 months ago. You will find the link to the video in the description down below. There we go. Now let me show you some really interesting short movies that I found online made by other people. These are made by the same tools. So first up, we have an incredible demo from William Bartlett, an executive creative director at Framestore. He's used Mid Journey, Crea AI, Photoshop for generative fill and depth maps. The result, a highly cinematic experience that shows the potential of AI in traditional VFX storytelling. You can find these videos in the description below. Next, we have a Saw parody from Offbeat Facts. They've brilliantly recreated a 1980s supermarket world, capturing the essence of that era with a humorous twist. It does have some creepy scenes, although it's a parody. And once again, it's really amazing what people can create with these tools. And then we have Humans by Regan McCon. This film is a real treat. It's a humorous take on a Sasquatch searching for evidence of humans. The storytelling here is top notch with a clever twist at the end. What I like with this one is how they've created an engaging narrative and a unique world. It's interesting to see other people's work because sometimes you're sitting there without any ideas and you can draw inspiration from others work and what has already been done. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. 
Lastly, we have Wasted by Jesse. This one stands out for its excellent sound design and realistic visual effects. It's a testament to how AI can contribute to character development and scene setting. Jesse has left in some intentional imperfections like misspelled takes, adding a touch of humor to the film. Now, while I was editing this video, there was a huge announcement from Stability AI. They are releasing Stable Video Diffusion. So this is the company that is behind Stable Diffusion, which is an AI image generator. Now they're contributing and releasing their own AI video tool. Here are a few demos from their website. We have a beautiful car, a train arriving at a station, a man with a cowboy hat and a robot in bed. The quality looks good and it's clearly better than Pika Labs before the update. Down here they introduce multi-view generations. It can take a single image of a character, object or building and turn it almost into a 3D model with 360 view. Now what's even crazier is their comparison graph with their competitors. It seems to be as good as Gen 2 at 14 frames and 20 to 25 percent of the time better with 25 frames compared to Runways Jane 2 and Pika Labs. I will not be surprised if two years from now we'll be able to create entire TV shows, animes and movies with a few prompts. When that happens, great ideas and stories will be valued even more because we will be flooded with crap content. So start and write down your stories and subscribe to this channel if you got something out of this video. Thank you for your support and see you on the next one.